Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix and decided to try one more home front commentary just to see how it goes. You know, kind of just feeling like playing some home front. It's kind of funny because I was like totally burned out on shooters just like as soon as uh, Deus Ex came out. <laughs> how coincidental is that? So anyways, uh, we're running green zone here. This is pretty much just a standard uh, team deathmatch we're doing here. Uh, not to say that uh, Homefront has a lot of variety in mode. It's pretty lacking in that aspect. But, uh, hey, what can you do? You know, hopefully they'll introduce some new stuff if they ever uh, make a sequel to this. I'm actually playing with a gamepad. I usually play at the mouse and keyboard, and I'm probably going to suck pretty bad with this. <laughs> um, you know, usually with FPS games, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like, some games, I can, I gotta do gamepad, and some, I gotta do mouse and keyboard. There's not, like, really a comfortable middle, you know, I'm not really one of those people that adapt well to both in the same game. And this game is more of a mouse and keyboard type game for me, so... I'm trying to learn in case I ever decide I want to play off the, uh, you know, the online micro console instead of on the PC. I'm playing on my PC right now with the Xbox 360 controller. It is a standard controller. It's pretty good, you know. I use it a lot on my computer gaming, so. But yeah, let's try to. Oh, I thought it was a. One thing I do find better with the, uh, controller is that I have an easier time of keeping the reticle steady so it's good for like longer range shots but uh, overall I still think the mouse and keyboard is better though due to the response time and everything like that and I don't know the game just seems more fun with the mouse and keyboard to me at least but uh yeah. Priority threat. Nearby enemy unit has killed multiple friendly I totally was not even using my sights. I don't know why, but usually when I got a guy just running right up on me, I just wail on him, you know, because what's the point in uh, trying to aim down the sights and let him outmaneuver me somehow? Perfect spawn area. Spawn me right next to an unsuspecting enemy. I like that. Actually, I freaking hate that whenever it happens to me. I mean, but I guess it happens to everyone, so it's, it's kind of even. It's kind of balanced. Um, yeah. Ah, I've totally out overthrown that grenade. Yeah, I'm not doing good with this, uh, controller gameplay. I got the game on three, well, I used to have the game on 360. I actually traded it in the GameStop because I don't know what it is, but I just had more fun playing this online than 360. Like, the community on the 360 is just so, you know, retarded. <laughs> just, to, you know, trying to find a better way to say it than that, but unfortunately I don't have one. Okay, there we go. Thought I was going to have to drop shot to take him out, but I can't really drop shot. I, you know, even if I could, I probably wouldn't most of the time. So I think drop shotting is kind of dumb. I mean, I guess it makes sense, you know, realistically, you would dive, you know, if you're in a firefight. But the way it's done in video games, it's like, I don't know. It's hard to describe, but it's like too easy to drop shot in a video game. Yeah. Okay, let's, um... I don't know, let's try the SMG out. I don't really use it a lot because they kind of nerfed it. Unfortunately, it's it used to be a really nice gun, but whenever they made their damage tweaks and all that, you know, it, it damaged the quality of the gun, for sure. You know, it's not nearly as powerful as it used to be. And, you know, everything's got to be tweaked in games, you know, to try to balance things out, but... I honestly didn't think that the SMG was overpowered, you know, I... I never really had a problem getting killed by people with, with from it, so... It works good for uh, those kinds of situations, though. When you're not doing aim shots, you're just doing those kinds of shots. It just seems like it is more effective in those situations. And that's all my ball is running. But... Yeah. Okay, so... 
Got a vehicle over there. I guess it's a tank. Maybe it's one of those uh, APCs or whatever. But if I can freaking catch up to it, thing, they're going full speed ahead with that. <laughs> Jeez, I'm like trying to freaking chase down a vehicle. Got him on the ropes. Finish him off. Ah, total miss. Kill him. All right, finally. One thing I noticed a lot about this game over, like, Call of Duty is... Uh, firefights tend to be a lot longer range, usually. There we go. All right, that'll work. I didn't get any points for it, but the vehicle's down. That's all I really cared about. I don't really aim for points and freaking buzzards. Man, they're so freaking cheap. Actually, I was using, I was running a buzzard uh, a few matches ago, and because they wanted to like freaking pour up the rooftops, and, you know, just completely own the rooftops. So I just freaking buzzard like, hey, look at this, you know. It's actually this exact same map that we did that, but, uh, yeah. You know how it goes. Well, I think I might do another match. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just uh, rate and comment and all that good stuff. Let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff or, or not.